What's going on, baby? You see what time it is. Drams on deck. Today, today we're going to do a little something, something for you. Today, we're going to experience something that's nice, that's amazing, and I hope you enjoy it. Wow. We got a lot of different selections here. Use my baby. I'm going to get to y'all in just a little bit, but today we're going to take it down a little bit further. We're going to give it to you just like this here. We got this area liner. We, I want to do that for you. I'm going to give you what you need. Look at what we got here. We got the Southern Teens cast by Arian. They're all wine finished, ball at 50%. This is the Southern Teen cast. Bottle, next to it, we have the port. 50% as well. Port wine finish, as you can see. Wow, you see it. You see it. We're going to get all into it. And last but not least, we have the Amaroon cast right here. You see it. You see it. Bye bye. Look at that here. Here go a bottle. If you want to take a look at the bottle. And we go dive all into them. So we have the Sarantines, the Port, the Amaroon, all bottle at 50%, all sweet wine finish. Arian lineup on deck for review. Let's go. You see what time it is, baby? Trams on deck. Ah. <sighs> Today, you see what time it is. Today, we got the lineup. Today, the crew is in the building. We have the Aryan wine cast finish lineup. We got the Amaroon. We got the port cast. We got the Southern Teen cast. All ball at 50%. Um, and like I said, man, we're going to run through and we're going to get to what it is. Um, if you see my channel, if you're a fan of my channel, you know how I feel about Aryan. I love this distillery. I like what they do. Um, I haven't had a bad airing yet. As I, as I said in my previous reviews, I did the Boffy. I did the Arian 10-year. I did the Arian 18-year. And I did the Arian uh, Sherry Bodega. So those are four uh, reviews I've done on, Sherry, uh, on the Arian, rather. This is the fifth. And this, like I said, I have all three of them. Um, this is the wine cast. So I was lucky enough to be able to get them all. And I want to do them all review for you. So one by one by one, we're going to compare and contrast the taste and uh, get to it. But uh, but this is the revamp area. If it's some of the areas that you may see if you, well, most of, I don't think you're really going to see too many older ones. But certain stores may have the older area lineup. The bottles actually look different. Um, but this is a newer one. I think most people will say that the newer lineup is the best one. Um, so nevertheless... As I, I think I will concur with that, even though I didn't have the previous edition, but I do enjoy, like I said, every area that I had, I've, I've enjoyed. So, um, like I said, the 18 was amazing. The Bodega Sherry high, uh, cast strength was amazing. So, 10 years amazing. So, like I said, man, I'm looking forward to this one. Um, so, our teen cast, um, this is a is a uh, sweet wine. So, this is a French sweet wine. Uh, obviously, port cast comes from a uh, Portuguese fortified wine, and then the Amaroon. Amaroon is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Italian red wine. It's like a dry Italian red wine. So um, I got these all. Well, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I got pretty much all at different stores. So this one, I got this one back at one of my stores. I was in San Diego over a year ago. This bottle. I got recently, I think I ordered online at, at one of my stores in San Diego. So even though I don't live there anymore, I still order from some of those stores. So this was from a different store. I, but I got this maybe about three months ago. And then the Amaroon cast, I've had this bottle. I've had it from two separate stores. But I got this around, all around the same time as this one, about four or five months ago, something around there. Um, the price for these, it varies. Um, but... For, Bar apart for what I paid for all these, you might as well say I paid roughly around maybe 80 bucks for each one, 75, 80 bucks in that ballpark. You know, we figure with shipping and taxes, it was slightly more with with this one. But anyway, ballpark, these roughly go around, we'll say 80 bucks. Okay, so somewhere around there, 70, 80s. Um, you can find them at, you know, your select stores, even online. Um, but for me, I always, like I said, I always enjoy a nice, sweet, whiskey it doesn't have to be ridiculously sweet but i like sweetness to it and i think all three is going to part different types of sweetness within it um i love like i said i love this lineup like i said i've other sartine casts i've had that i really enjoyed which was years ago which from the glimmerangi they have the de nectar um they have the a sartine cast i think the first time i ever tried it was with the glimmerangi speaking of glimmerangi that's kind of similarities of the area as far as the sweet wine cast because obviously the Glimmerangi has their, their port wine, they have the sherry uh, cast, they have the Sarantine cast, so has some similarities as far as, the, as far as that line goes. But nevertheless, um, 
port wine, like I said, man, I, I like port. I, I, well, I know I really drink it like in this natural wine, uh, but I normally drink it in finished whiskeys. And I've had some good ones, and, and the Glamorangi is another good one. I like their port wine finish, just to name one. Um, and then the Amaroon cast. I've never, ever even heard of Amaroon until I seen it with this particular expression. So that's how I found out about it. So I've never, it's the only Amaroon cast whiskey I've ever tried. But these two have had Sardines and, and other uh, forms. I actually have it with an Equidour. There, there's a, uh, a cash straight Equidour Scotch whiskey that I have back, hidden back there. And that's a Sardine cast, and that's very good as well. That's very nutty, um, a lot more vibrant, fruity flavors. I, I enjoy that. But nevertheless, back with this one, looking forward to doing this review for you. So without further ado, I'm going to start from left to right, left-handed here. I'm going to start with Sardine cast. We're going, uh, as always, we're going to nose it, we're going to taste it, we're going to score it. So let's go. They're all, if you can see, look at the colors from the camera. They're all pretty much all light color, the light wines, the darker of all of them being obviously the port wine because it's like a red wine. Um, so is this. I don't know the maturation of how long. Um, by and large, these are pretty much standard area whiskeys uh, finished in Southern Team, Port, and Amaroon uh, uh, cast. So that's, they're pretty much, should, the base of them should be pretty similar. The only difference is they're just aged and uh, finished, rather, in these particular three separate wines. Um, the time frame that they're aged in is, I don't know, but I would imagine probably no within the year, maybe, something of that nature. But anyway, let's start with the Southern Team. Let's, let's see what we have on his nose. All right now. Right now you get a nice little honeycomb on here, vanilla, sweet oak. Yeah, sweet oak, vanilla, and honey is mostly what I'm picking up on here. Nothing, I'm not picking up too much outside of that. So it's not the most complex nose, but it does have a mild sweetness on it though. All right. Without further ado, let's see what this uh, taste has to offer. Mm. All right, now. All right. I let it roll down a little bit. 50%. So it has a nice little small punch to it. Took that first hit. It's going down a drain. All right, now. As always, I like to take two couple sips. I can further saturate the palate and give you dive deeper to notes for you. One more quick sip. This one here, heavy on the vanilla. Like, like a nice vanilla, soft syrup. Mm. Well, that's very, it's like I said, vanilla, honey, soft syrup, a little bit of oak, sweet oak. There's the main things, that are prevalent things that taste on this. So I would say this is naturally not the most complex whiskey, but what it is, has a nice proof to it. We get a nice amount of, like I said, Soft syrup, uh, honey, and vanilla. So if you are if you a vanilla and honey monster, I think you'll gravitate towards this. Um, I don't really pick up much spices. I hope, like I mean, I do pick a little bit of cinnamon on here, um, but like I said, it's it's pretty pretty standard, uh, medium high sweetness to this, um, and pretty much those those little small a small handful of uh, flavor profiles. I don't pick up much else outside of that. So. It's do I think it's doable if you want something sweet that's going to hit the spot. I think this can hit the you know can definitely do that for you. I mean I don't mix whiskeys, but if you wanted to mix this, you could if that's what you choose. I personally wouldn't do it, but that's just me. Um, but it would definitely go good in the mixed drink just because of the, of the sweetness to it. Like I said, it's not overly complex with you know like uh, multiple different type of flavor profiles, but mainly thing you get is it's definitely diving towards the sweet. You get like like I said a lot of sweet grapes. Um, like I said, that's sw sweet syrup. You get that vanilla, sweet oak, and honey. That's mainly what I pick up on that. And like I said, I like sweetness. So if you know me, I like sweetness to it. I like it. So that's enjoyable. Um, just not complex, but it's enjoyable. So all in all, I'm happy with it. Um, um, personally, like I said, I, you know, 
like I said, these are around 80, 75, 80 bucks. So I think it's it's fairly, you know, I mean, I think this one probably could be slightly cheaper, but nevertheless, I'm not gonna knock it on as far as on on uh, price point. Um, how would I rate this Southern Teen Aryan? One of a 10, 10 being the best for me, Dreams on Deck. Um, like I said, I like like I said, I'm a person guy that kind of enjoys the sweetness, so I I I kind of like that, man. So one more quick sip for you. Has a medium creaminess too as well. So that's one thing that I think it, it helps a lot. The creaminess to it has a medium creep, medium uh, soft creaminess to it. I like them. I like that. But anyway, rating is one of a ten. Ten being the best. I give this one a solid eight out of a ten. Um, I think it's nice. I mean, like I said, one thing it's got going for it is it's full body, um, medium creaminess to it and it's sweet so if you like sweetness the vanilla if it's vanilla honey is two main things so it's a vanilla and honey monster so if you like that sweetness that's what i think that will work for you um the one so the the, the the pro is that it has a nice sweetness to it like i said full body the downside to it is that it's pretty much one dimensional sweet it doesn't have a lot of overly complex you know things going for it, it really doesn't so um, that's the drawback. It's pretty one dimensional, but the one dimension is sweetness. So if you like sweetness, I think you could enjoy that. Um, it's definitely a comfort drink. Could it be? So yeah, I give it eight of a 10. Um, like I can say, because I like the sweetness to it, I like the, the, the bodiness of it, the richness of it. But what, the one thing that I don't, you know, this drawback is just a lack of complexity. So I'm take one quick sip of water in my beanies cup. I'm going to cleanse the pan a little bit, and I'm going to jump right to this Aryan port cast. Right on his nose. See what we got. This one right here, I get like a little bit of prunes, raisins, medium, like a sweet spice to it, like, like maybe like a nutmeg, cinnamon, sweet oak. That's what I pick up on the nose. Like I said, the dark fruits. Sweet oak and that spice. All in all, you know what I'm saying. These right here, these are I don't know because they're softly finished in uh, in uh, cast. I don't. It's not like overly. Uh, uh, I don't get like a whole lot of uh, different things on the nose, but there it's pretty sweet. They're all I get to sweet. That's the main component I get the uh, the bulk of is sweetness on there. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a quick sip and let's see what we got on this port cast. Cheers. Okay. As always, I like to take two sips. So I can really dive into the notes and they can further saturate my palate. But this one, you get sweetness on this one too. It's a, it's a different kind though. It's, it's not the exact same sweetness though. But they're all 50%, like I said. So the proof is going to hit you around the same. But the only major difference, like I said, they're pretty much the base is the same. The major difference is just obviously the wine, you know. So pour it. Sardine and maroon. So, one more quick sip for you. And then I dive deeper into notes. So for me, that's when you get. Mm, okay. Still going a little bit. So you get a little dates, honey, vanilla. You get like a like a spice. Like I said, same on the nose. Spice being like cinnamon, uh, spice, like a raspberry, like light raspberry note. Um, I like it. Like I said, the, the major difference, like sweetness, is is. is it's different. Like I said, this was a vanilla honey monster. This one, you get more fruits on this one. I don't really pick up any fruits on here, but this one, you get light fruits. It's not the most fruitiest thing I've ever had. You know what I'm saying? 
Like for example, I've had the Redbreast 27. That has uh, port in this and the other couple other cats in there. So that one is just like ridiculous fruit. This is not ridiculous fruit. It's, it's nice fruit, but it's not ridiculous like like that. I mean, that, that Redbreast 27 is just a monster when it comes to fruit. This one, I get mild fruit. Like I said, like I said, I got a little bit of the, like a raspberry on there, raisins. Uh, like I said, you, then you get the, like this nice sweetness, like I said, cinnamon spice type of thing. Um, medium creaminess, same ABV. Um, I think I like the, the pork cast slightly more, a little bit more than the sardine. Um, but, um, that's just a matter of preference though. You still get sweetness, but it's different. This one just, pretty, like I said, vanilla, honey, monster. This one, you get fruits and then you also still get the nice, you know, spice to it, you know, so. Um, they're both still, you know, nice. So anyway, um, I enjoy this one as well. I'm gonna take one more quick sip. I'm gonna give you a quick swirl. Yeah, I like it a little bit better. So anyway, if I had to rate this Aryan Port Cast, one out of the 10, 10 being the best of meat drums on deck, I give it 8.5. Um, I think it's a little bit better. Um, like I said, I like the I like the proof. I like the the red fruits that I get on it. Like I said, the raisins. We get like I said the raspberry note, like a little small grape note. I like that. The spice to it, like I said, that that this nutmeg cinnamon spice get a little nice sweet oak. Pretty good. I enjoy it. So for me, eight point five for me. Like I said, around the same price, same proof. So. Um, that's just, you know, the difference is, like I said, vanilla honey, this one right here, you get the more fruits character to it. It's not like a fruit monster, but you get, you know, compared to that, you, you get some fruit character to it along with the spice. And then you get mild sweetness of it from like the wine. So, um, all in all, it's good. Like I said, I, I definitely had some, some heavier ported wines. Yes. When I say heavier, meaning that more uh, influence, more heavier, more balanced, but this is very good though. I still enjoy it. So 8.5 for the Aryan Port cast. That being said, last but not least, let's slide on over here and let's see what Aryan has to offer. I'm going to take one more quick sip of one. This is a small little, mm -hmm. small little sip of water. Just cleanse the palate. Then we're going to jump on this um, Amaroon cast. Let's see, this is, well, yeah, that's probably the... The Sardine is the lightest on the color. This is the second lightest, and then the lap, this is the darkest. So on this one right here, let's see what this nose has to offer. Right here, pick up apple, cinnamon, honey, like a, like a dried wine, spice on here. Not bad. They all have some sweetness on the nose. So just to, just to put that out there. So without further ado, the last one, the Amaroon cast. Cheers. As always, I like to take two sips, but this is different. Like I said, man, Amaroon cast, that's not a cast I've never had before. I've never, you know, had any experience whatsoever. Amaroon cast, like I said, it's a, a dry red Italian wine. So it's very different, um, but you still get sweetness on here. So um, I would say. Like I said, I like the color of the bottle. I like the presentation. I like the, the fact that it's different. Um, that's what really got me. It's like, let me give this a shot. Give it a shot. So I'm going to take one more quick sip. I'm going to dive in deeper in this notes for you. Very sweet as well. I like this one too. So to me, to me, it has some similarities with the Sarantine cast, only in the fact that it's kind of one-dimensional and it's kind of sweet. 
Um, so like this, this sweetness right here, I get a little bit of spice. Spice being like, like a cinnamon. You definitely get cinnamon on that. You get like a dried apple, like a sweet dried apple. And for me, I get honey and vanilla as well. So it's spice, apple, honey, vanilla is what I pick up on this one right here. This one, you get honey, vanilla, and syrup. So this one, you, you know, has a spice character to it, like the cinnamon and then the apple. So all in all, it's, I think it's kind of a little bit slightly more one-dimensional, pretty much like the Sardine cast. So if I had to rate this Amaroon, one of the 10, 10 being the best for me, Dreams on Deck, I give this an 8 out of a 10 as well. So same score as I gave the Sardine cast, 8 out of a 10. My favorite of all of them being the Port cast, which is an 8.5 out of a 10. Um, so... Oh, if you like sweetness, I think these are the ones that you will get the sweetness from. Um, they're all sweet, okay? Um, this one you usually can get more fruit, slightly, slightly, just maybe slightly one-dimensional, more uh, complex, more complex than you do these two. These two are more the one-dimensional, um, but they're I, I still enjoy them because, like I said, I like sweetness, now. So I said so. These two, Sarantine and Maroon, eight of a ten. The pork being eight point five out of ten. Um, I like, I think it has a little bit more, com slightly more complexity than notes that I had said that earlier. So, um, like I said, apples on, on the Amaroon, um, the cinnamon spice, uh, vanilla, so sweet oak. So, uh, they're all, no, they're all good, man. It's all good, man. So I like that. I've never had an Amaroon cast. I'm glad I tried it. I got another bottle of it just in case. Cause I was like, it was a rare one. Um, but oh no, these, I mean, these are very, all very good. Um, However, do, how they stack up against like the 18 or the Sherry Bodega, that to me is not as good as those. So I enjoy all of these, but to me, none of them are as good as the 18. The Sherry 18, is, that's that's another level right there compared to these. Even though the 18 year is a lower proof than all of these, it's still better. If you know me, I'm a proof hound. I like higher proofs. These are a little slightly higher. These are 50. The, the, the 18 year behind me right here is a 46. It's still better. The, uh, the Aryan Sherry uh, Bodega. I think I have it right behind me. Right. So where is it at? Right back here. I did this review as well. This is 50, almost uh, 56%, which is 55.8. This is better than all of those. So long story short, um, as I said before, I've never had a bad Aryan. That still stands to date. I still haven't had a bad Aryan. I like them all. Um, these are good. These are enjoyable. Um, these are like novel, like sweet wine finish. I enjoy them. Um, but you know, I, I probably like, like I said, I like the other ones better. Like the, the 10 year, even the 10 year was very good. The 18 and the bodegas are definitely better. So, but like I said, I like them all. I think the port is probably my favorite out of all of them. So hope you got some other review. If you never had any of the areas before, or at least particularly these lineups, hopefully you get the insight of what these taste like and you know how they are. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some out of it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe button. Likes and subscribers are free, y'all. Um, also, I have a Cash App Patreon. You do choose support. Um, hit me in the comments section because I want to know your opinions of it. So, if you, whether you had these or you haven't had these, just let, you know, anything to do with Aaron, let me know your thoughts and opinions. I love interacting with y'all. That's what makes it fun, family. Um, so, yeah, man. Yeah. Aryan lineup is in the on deck for review. I, that's pretty much all the areas I've had in my collection. I've, so this is the last of all the areas that I have. So I've done them all. So hopefully you um, got some out there's reviews. Like I said, it's definitely a very under the radar uh, distillery. Like Aryan is not one that the common man's gonna know about. So the with my Scotch guys or my whiskey kind of sewers would know more about the Aryan. So the ones that I, I'm not trying to highlight because I feel like it's not getting this just due. It's not getting love it deserves. Arian has some solid stuff. They have never put out anything that I didn't like. So, so I'm trying to give them some love because people know about the McCallans, the Ball Bennies, the Lafroids, et cetera, et cetera. So this is another Scotch brand that I think Boone Hobbit and there's other ones that they're just well known. So this one, I'm trying to give it some love because I feel it deserves it and it has solid products. So hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or concerns, hit me up. I also have a cat, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Instagram page. So let, uh, let me know um, if you if you haven't checked my Instagram page. I got a lot of cool stuff there too. So a lot of my bottles, are even that I haven't reviewed yet, is on that Instagram page. So please, if you have a little time, check that out as well. I have a couple of hidden reviews also on that page as well. So 
Anyway, stay tuned. Got more hot reviews coming your way. Drams on deck. Yes, sir. Thank <music> you.